UK Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis – How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. So today we are going to cover a, a important annotation as part of TestNG which is called as at the rate data provider. So what is the advantage of at the rate data provider? So let me list down the points. Okay. There might be scenarios, there might be scenarios where you try to maintain the data, try to maintain the input data in an Excel, right? You always maintain the data in the Excel. Suppose for example, take a scenario of login. For login, I have multiple set of username and passwords, right? To verify whether the test case is working fine or not, I have multiple set of input data. So. So in order to store multiple set of input data for a test case, I might pass different set of values, right? Suppose for example, in the case of login, I can pass five values, five, five set of values means username, password, which is valid, username, password, which is invalid, username, password, which is blank. So I can pass multiple set of values for me. So, so this multiple set of values, if you want to store in test ng, we have to store in at the rate data provider okay and using data provider we can achieve data driven testing data driven testing means what i try to maintain the data in an excel it will try to drive the test cases try to drive the test cases based upon the data so first data it will try to fetch from the excel execute the test case second data fetch it execute it Stored data, fetch it, execute it. So what is happening? For each every data, the entire test, the test case will be getting executed. Okay, based upon the data. That's the reason we say data driven testing. So data driven testing means for you, the concept is reading and data from the Excel and try to execute the test cases based upon the data. Okay. Similarly, if you see in the case of QTP also, you maintain the data in the global global data sheet. You just maintain a global data sheet, try to import the Excel into the global data sheet and from global data sheet each and every row you try to iterate and just execute it. So data driven concept also there in the case of QTP you achieve using global data sheet which is displayed in the bottom. Okay. So whoever has already learned QTP it will be helpful. So just refer that. So you will have a global data sheet you try to import that Excel into the global data sheet and try to execute each and every row. Here also same concept only but here we are going to read the excel and store it and data providers so what we are going to do now see so First thing what I have to do, I have to store the data in the Excel list. First I will check, okay, this test case requires 10 set of data. Okay, open Excel. Start filling all the data, row after row after row after row after 10 rows I have filled. Okay, then I write a program to read the Excel and store in data provider. And after storing in the data provider, I have to reuse it. So I will write down the steps. Write down the step C.
okay so everybody see these four points take time and read these four points i'm giving you time plus read it by your own and just let me know any doubts in these four points <laughs> Okay, fine. It's okay because XLS. If you use, uh, then is the next part is it only? Okay, data provider is not kind of a yeah. Might be you can say data provider is kind of a data structure which will store the data from the Excel. It's a kind of a data structure, right? Similarly, array. You might be knowing array, right? You try to read from Excel, store it in array. It's kind of array, but here we call it as a data provider. Okay, so if you understand these concept better, I'll show one uh, one uh, screenshot. Just go just go ahead with this uh, screenshot, then uh, I'll explain again. Let me show you that screenshot. Okay, so everybody is able to see this screenshot. Okay, cool. So what happens is here, here I might be storing the input data in the Excel. I might be storing the input data in the database. I might be storing the input data in the XML file. Fine. For me, the objective is to read the data and store in an data provider. See here what is happening you see three arrows here first arrow is database second arrow is XLS third arrow is XML right you try to read the data from any of these any of these repositories might be database might be XLS might be you try to decide where you want to store the input data that's up to you depends upon your understanding depends upon your usage you can store the data but for me I'll write a logic to read the data from these any of them suppose for example for me XLS this concept is for XLS Suppose I store the data in XLS, I can read the XLS first, store it in the data provider, at the rate data provider, one has name as test data, you see the name as, what's the name of the data provider now? What is the name of the data provider you are seeing here? Okay, fine. So let me talk a little bit further. How is the voice now? Is it clear? Still the same problem? Okay. See the data provider name is test data and I am going to store the data for after reading from the XLS and storing the data in the data provider name called test data. Test data. Okay, see here that this is called test data. Okay, so once you store the data in the test data, I can reuse the test data. If you see the top one at the rate right test, you see at the rate right test, data provider is called test data. So if you have if you store after storing the data in the test data, we can use that test data anywhere in the test cases by mentioning at the rate right test data provider is equal to test data means data provider is an attribute here for the other right test so we have seen attributes right can anybody recollect and tell me what are the attributes we have seen for other right test yes yes priority groups the groups is also going to enable depends on methods so there's so many we have seen similarly data provider is an attribute for the at the rate test annotation okay so 
and what i am saying is data providers and annotation similar to priority similar to enabled depends on methods groups data provider is an annotation is an attribute for the other test annotation okay so data provider is an attribute for the other test annotation okay so you able to hear me everybody okay one second i don't know the problem today the, to the net is also too slow today might be some issue one second okay so i closed all the other browsers which might be consuming internet so i closed everything so only thing is open is uh, this go to meeting so i think uh, it might be better now let's see so the concept is the concept you are able to understand the concept if you are able to understand the concept we'll get into the program so okay tell me the question or okay, no i'm going to ask the question tell me the answer for this question so what are we trying to read we are trying to read from excel s okay and storing it in data provider okay and reuse the data provider how do you reuse the data provider yes at the rate test data provider is equal to the data provider name okay so that is the concept so let's see first i'll do what i'll do is first i'll try to store the data in excel s i'll show you how to store the data in excel s then second point i'll show you how do you read the excel s using the code we have to write a code right it's not easy to read the excel s we have to write some programming language some language you have to write like in java you are using so you read try to write the java just read the excel s then store it in data provider try to use the data provider in the at the rate test okay see so anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to explain this concept while writing the program so let me get into the program okay fine uh okay so one more point let's see the points now so first i'll try to store the see i'll try to cover these four points a b c d so let's start with the first point store the data in an excel as well i'm going to do the same thing see i'm opening one excel just follow the points i'm just opening excel first point we are covering now okay suppose for example uh there is an emi calculator is there i think everybody knows emi right every month we pay some emi right that will be deducted as part of principal and interest 